hi guys how are you doing in this video i'm going to show you how to download the modis tree cover data that is the modis visitation continuous fields this is the data that shows you the percent of the area that contains tree cover it shows you where it shows you where it's bare and where it has trees so this is the type of data that you need if your research has something to do with tree cover, mapping or forestry, mapping or anything that requires you to understand the percent of the area that contains trees or the forest cover. So we are going to search for MODIS vegetation continuous fields. And so we are going to click on this. And you just wait for it to load. So this is how the site for Modis looks like, and. As I said, we want this vegetation continuous fields. When you see here in the description, it tells us that this data has three land cover components. It has the percent tree cover, the non-tree vegetation, and the percent non-vegetated. And it has a spatial resolution of 250 meters. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on this here. Yeah. and it leads to this site so what we are going to do is since we want to download this data we are going to click on access data and here there are many tools that you can use to access your data depending on what is convenient for you so like for this to the earth data and the usgs if you have the accounts here you can use them to download the data so for me since i have the earth data account i'm going to click on this download button here so it's going to redirect me to the earth data site so it's going to take some time to load And as you can see, what's giving us here, it's the MODIS structure vegetation continuous fields. That is what we want to download because inside this data, we have the tree cover data. So we just wait for you to load the map. And what we need to do is we need to zoom in into the area that we want to download our data for. So you just zoom in and wait for it to load. So assuming I want to download tree cover data for the Nairobi area, which is here, I'm going to use these tools here. I can draw a polygon or a rectangle around the area where I want my data. So let me check the rectangle. And here I'm going to draw my rectangle that way. So you can see now it's loading for me the results for this particular area. And you can see I have 21, 21 granules, sorry. And so when I click on it, it's going to show me the results. And you can see I have 21 and they are for different years. So when you see here this, the outlined area when I click here inside this bigger rectangle, it's the granule that covers the area where Nairobi is inside it. So what you're going to do is, what you're going to download is this granule here, but later after you have your data, you're going to clip it to your area of interest. So that is Nairobi. 
So depending on the year of the data that you want, you're going to specify here the start date. For example, I can say I want data that starts from 2019 January 1st to 2021 October 22nd so as you can see now it's changing and I have three results for that and so I can choose to download all of them by clicking this button here or if you only want one maybe this for 2019 you just click on this download button here and this data it is in hdf format so later i'm going to show you how you're going to import this into your js software so what you're going to do is click on this button so i'm going to download this one for 2020 and i'm going to just click on it download button it's going to load and when you're downloading you have to re-enter your login details and so So you have to sign in again so it can give you a permission to download it so as you can see here my download is already starting so that's how you download your tree cover data and in the next video i'll show you how to process this data in the gis software thank you so much for watching